Religion and belief is all around us, but the one thing that makes people question whether it's the dark arts, and it's called Wicca. Wicca is normally misunderstood and mistaken as dark and evil. <coughs> but in reality, it's light and positive, with Wiccans are in tune with the forces of nature and respect it, and use it for healing. But the majority of people still relate Wicca to witchcraft, that Wiccans are witches who want to harm and curse people. But in this documentary, we will inform you that it's not true, and help you to understand Wicca, and answer the question, what is Wicca? Even though many people have mistaken Wicca as witchcraft, it's not the same with the fact that Wicca is a positive and light magic that respects and worships nature, and they help others with their magic. On the other hand, witchcraft is more towards the dark side of magic, with the intent to harm others with spells and curses. Wicca is a very influencing to first religion, and many people have become Wiccans over the years. Too many people are surprised to know that Wicca itself is a new religion. It has only been around for at least 70 to 80 years, uh, considering how witchcraft is that it's been around around since the 1400s. Wicca was founded in the year 1954, although many other people do say differently, but most agree that it was created around the years 1930 to 1960 by Gerald Gardner, who was fascinated with spiritual and magic. He joined a coven of witches in the years 1940 to 1960. The years after he joined the coven, he created his own religion based on magic and called it Wicca. The holidays that Wiccans celebrate are important because they link with the seasons of the Earth and the journey of the Earth around the Sun. The cycle is called the Wheel of the Year. Most Wiccans celebrate the, in this tradition not the public holidays such as Christmas, Easter, Halloween, and Bonfire Night. Wiccans celebrate eight holidays within the Wheel of the Year, but these are the most important. Celebrated in December, Yule, also known as Winter Solstice, is celebrated for the longest night of the year and we turn to the sun. May Eve, celebrated in April to May the 1st, celebrated for the spring arriving. The summer solstice, also known as Midsummer, is celebrated in June, known for the longest day of the year and the creation of the harvest fruits. Samhain, All Hallows Eve, also known as Hallamus, is celebrated on the 31st of October to the 1st of November. It's known for the time to remember the ancestors and people who've died and pay respects to them. Um, I think the hard thing with Wicca, personally, is you can join the coven, which is where you, in a group of like eight people, you all learn together and you meet up every now and then and you do stuff. Uh, I didn't. Um, I was solitary, which means it's me on my own. Uh, my family isn't Wiccan, as a lot of Wiccans are, family-based parents. Uh, mine aren't. They have an interest in that kind of thing, but I had to pretty much go online uh, learn it all by myself and ask my friend that I knew kind of what they thought. The other thing about Wiccan is how one person might do something isn't how someone else might do something and it also might not be how you do something. The main part is you, it's how you do it, what you like, so it's kind of a, you have to learn on your own pretty much. Um, is there different types of Wiccans? And yep. Which ones are there? Uh, I can only name a few, a fact I can't even, there's Draconic, there's dragons, there's a fairy one, I don't know what it's called. There's, I think, kitchen wickers one, where you basically just make stuff in the kitchen and you put stuff in food. There's, I can't remember his name, but the guy who started wicker has his own one. Then there's eclectic, which is what I am, which pretty much means you do what you want and you don't have any rules except for one. The only rule in wicker, for eclectic anyway, is um, an ye harm none, do as ye will, which pretty much means if you're not hurting anyone, do whatever you want. Is the religion of Wicca secretive? Uh, uh, I think it depends on the person. I think if someone is Wiccan and they're fine with speaking about it, then they'll be open about it because kind of similar to other religions, you believe that like, or some people believe that you're on your own path and fate and that stuff. So if they're confident speaking about it and they're speaking good things, they'll then believe that them being open to it is a good thing even if people don't agree with it. However, there are people, because of the negativity surrounding the religion, there are people that don't do it 
um, or aren't open about it, don't speak about it, but they're doing it in secret. They have got a name. It's called being in the broom closet for obvious reasons. But it depends on the person. I'm half and half. I don't bring it up. But if someone asks me about it or if it gets brought up, I will tell them that I am. I just don't go around saying it. Do you know how to do a spell or rituals? Uh, yeah. So the thing with spells and rituals is it's similar thing. You have Wicca, religion, and then a lot of Wiccans will practice, yeah, practice witchcraft, which is a separate thing. You don't have to be a witch to, pra- uh, to be Wiccan. You don't have to do witchcraft to be Wiccan. You don't have to be a Wiccan to do witchcraft. It's separate things. But a lot of Wiccans do it because they kind of go hand in hand. I've done a few, um, not many, but I can do some of them. It's not a case of like uh, going online, Googling a thing. I want a love spell, which are a thing, but people don't do them because they're not actually a good thing in the world of Wicca. That's something that's not real. Uh, But you kind of have to write one down yourself and make it yourself. It's like a personal thing. What do you think about films and TV shows featuring magic and involving witches and witch- Wiccans? Uh, first one that comes to mind is Wizard of Oz, with the whole green woman who gets crushed by a house. And That's obviously not an accurate representation, but it's also film, and Wizard of Oz isn't a real or realistic film. So I can let that slide. The only problem I have with witchcraft in films mainly because you don't see many Wiccans in films it's mainly just witches they're I can't think of any witches that are portrayed as good people they're always bad it's always people who are like casting spells or hexing people it's never people who are like saving people it's always negative it's like this person I'm going to cut their hair off put it in a cauldron spin it around and boom they're now cursed that doesn't happen it's, it's, it's kind of similar. We do have spells. We do have wands. Wands exist. They're not sticks, though, kind of. They're sticks with a thing on the end. Uh, but it's not a... It's different. We don't... It's not that easy to cast them. And wizards also don't exist in Wicca. Male, male witches are still called witches. They're not called wizards. Or warlocks. Warlocks is a bad term, I think. Wizards don't exist. What impression do you think that these films create for people? Uh, I don't think it's just films, but I think if you go around telling people that don't know you, that you are a witch, or... Because if, if you say you're Wiccan, most people probably don't know what it is. But if you say you're a witch, everyone straight away probably has the same thing in their head, which is either the thing from films, like Wizard of Oz, with the cauldron and the whole casting spells and cursing people, it's also very largely, for some reason, connected to um, the devil and being evil. Devil doesn't exist, as far as I know, in Wicca. There isn't one. But people often go, okay, well, real life witches exist. They all got burned because they were evil. Therefore, modern witches must be evil. That's not quite how it works. Like I mentioned earlier, with the do as you will, you know, harm none, we don't want to harm people. Obviously, there are some people that will hex people, curse people. It does exist. Everything has one. But it's not a wicked thing to harm people it's looked down on if you hurt people so we're not evil we're just people magic is all around us in different ways and people who practice it wiccans or witches could be seen right next to you we hope that you can be more open-minded with this subject that most people wouldn't understand we would like to thank those who featured in this documentary and the people who created these entertainment medias and thank you for